Good morning, study hall. So, Mr. C has recently discovered cheapbroadwaytickets.com. With you, I'll try relying on gravity. Tommy, can you hear me? Brett, finish it off. Tommy. Tommy. Stop. Tommy. Stop. Everyone, Tommy. stop. Tommy. Tommy. Oh my God. Tommy. <laughs> Rock and roll! Yeah! I'm what you might call a regular theater goer. I've seen five or six different shows. Lauren Sahensky and I went to the Spring Awakening 14 times. We used to sing outside the stage door. Jonathan Groff, you know, he's the boyfriend from uh, last season on Glee, he was in that show. He nodded to me twice. So kiss me, Kate, darling angel divine, for now I will ever be the I see how someone could like reading Rainbow, but I don't get how anyone could have liked the Wiggles. Well, unlike you, I was a normal child, and I happen to like men in tights dancing around playing musical instruments. They're just like so creepy, I don't know. Well, what the Wiggles ever do to you, huh? Uh, danced around in tights and played musical instruments. Hey, so I'm having a party on Friday, if you want to go, at my house. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. Cool. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, me and Brett are really good friends. I mean, he's the only normal one in the study hall. I mean, you know, there's Sylvie. Oh, those are cuter than yours. Is this how it's gonna be? Are you constantly gonna be looking over my shoulder? Can't a girl get any privacy around here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jack. Jack, you see the heat game last night? LeBron went off. What do you have, like 40 points? Jack. Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? Stare. Strength, time, agility, reaction, and eyes. Five things you need to succeed in this world. It's my own method. Tom. Hey Tom, two things. One, why do you have those cupcakes? Two, your shoes untied. Ha ha, very funny. I'll have you know these were handmade and quilted by my grandma Henderson, and when I went to pick them up, she gave me some cupcakes too. Is that a problem? You insult my grandma and my cupcakes? You know what? Oh, I hate study hall sometimes. Just kidding, I love it. And of course, Mr. C. Memory. I think you get the point. All right, I'm, uh, I'm gonna need to get everybody have a seat over here at the table, please, if we could. So, the Dan has asked me. The who? Sorry. The Dan. Are you trying to say Dean? Yeah, the, you know, the, the land man, grand fighting machine, Dan. I think, I think Dean would suffice. Okay, well, he has asked me to go over with you guys uh, some of the policies we have surrounding harassment in its many forms, be it physical, flinch, or verbal. <laughs> ah, you're forgetting sexual. It's very important oh. to be get... <laughs> I don't think we need to, uh, to deal with that. Thank you, Thomas. Actually, I think it's a very important thing to talk about, especially in high school. I mean, you see these girls walking around with their skirts up to their thighs? It's just gross, if you ask me. Okay. I agree with Sylvie. Okay, no one asked you, ever. But the Dean has said that we do need to go over what constitutes 
physical harassment? And when is it? What is physical harassment? Well, I mean, if you punch someone in the face, that's physical harassment. Well, that is not always the case. Really? Yeah, how is it not? Well, let's say you're standing up for your friend and you punch the guy in the face. Yeah, I don't, think that, okay. I don't think that really matters. Okay, okay. We're gonna do a little demonstration. Thomas? Uh, okay. Brett, if you would. Okay, excuse me here. Thomas, Thomas, very theatrically, if you will, please pretend to hit me. Ah! Oh, my face, my face, it hurts so badly. I'm, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, oh, <laughs> I'm bleeding. And now, it wouldn't be terribly inappropriate if I tried to get my snake attack to punch you! Oh. oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mr. It's Sam. okay. It's I'm okay. I'm so sorry. Just fine. Oh my god. Excuse me. <laughs> what can I say? You mess with the yak, you get the horns. Did I change some lives this week? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, we worked with the kids about the harassment information. I got to practice my first aid skills. And I uh, started out on what could be a very, very financially beneficial relationship with a certain prince from Serbia. We've uh, been emailing back and forth. I'm not really at liberty to discuss it right now. But yeah, it's a uh, solid week all in all.